problem here is uh, associated with testing and uh, we must also be aware about uh, what is artificial intelligence. So in next 10 to 15 minutes, I will be talking about how artificial intelligence could be implemented into testing and what impact it could have when it's implemented into testing. So, uh, testing is a crucial phase in the software or product development and uh, according to World Quality Report of 2016 and 17, testing consumed around 30% of the revenue which we invested in testing, uh, in product development. And uh, it is predicted to grow, grow to 40% in the coming three years. So, artificial intelligence is one thing that could bring down this revenue investment in testing. So, how artificial intelligence could be implemented into testing? Basically, uh, there are three, co uh, three components that could be used for uh, implementing artificial intelligence into testing. The first one is natural language processing, second is machine learning, and the third one is historical data analysis. So, uh, in the system I'm talking about, it will be using natural language processing for requirement analysis and resulting of, uh, reporting of results. So, uh, requirement analysis, uh, basically, uh, in natural language processing, uh, uses uh, two parts, natural language understanding and natural language generation. And both of these uh, uses top-down parser approach to implement itself. So, uh, these are the uh, terms, but I'll give you an example. In the image which, uh, which is shown here, uh, I have used a wrong uh, spelling for uh, natural language uh, processing and uh, what the search, uh, search engine does is it's, it uses a top-down parser approach and thereafter it uses natural language understanding to get the meaning, meaningful information out of the wrongly provided sentence. Okay. And uh, uh, then uh, uh, thereafter it shows the result. The, uh, intended result of the wrongly provided uh, sentence. So, uh, this, is, uh, this is how uh, means the common term, the layman term, we, we can provide the requirement to the system and it could make something meaningful out of uh, the terms uh, or sentence which we provide. So, this is, uh, this is the uh, thing which can be used to implement the requirement analysis of the requirement. And uh, the second is uh, machine learning. Basically, uh, Hari sir talked about uh, machine learning and uh, a bit about unsupervised learning. What unsupervised learning uh, does is that uh, the data which, we, uh, data which we feed, we do not feed any information about the data. What we do is uh, leave the system on its own to segregate the data and build clusters. The system, uh, according, to, uh, according to its own understanding, what system does is make, uh, prepares the clusters. Like uh, uh, for a particular, uh, particular information, it builds clusters and uh, then segregates the data which has been provided to it. And uh, the machine learning also uh, uses the uh, recommended technique and this will be used uh, for uh, the defect prediction in the system. The system which I am talking about will be using recommended technique to predict the uh, defect uh, which uh, from the past, uh, past data. Basically what will happen, the system uh, which I am talking about will be implemented into the network where the application lies for testing and manual testing would continue as it is for uh, several years and the data from the manual testing would be fed into the system and later on uh, the system will use these, uh, these data to build the clusters and uh, going forward when, uh, when the testing uh, when the testing would be uh, when the actually uh, when the testing will be uh, required to be done what uh, what it would do is uh, 
it would uh, go uh, when a particular requirement is fed into the system what it would do is look for the cluster where that particular requirement or previously manually tested data lies like uh, i would give you what clustering look like uh, this this is the uh, example i have taken from uh, google news google news uh, vastly uses clustering technique and uh, in this example i searched for uh, india's gdp and uh, what it did is uh, it it took the information from the website and all the newspapers online newspapers which uh, has the same information or similar information about the cluster uh, about the india's gdp you can see here that uh, all of these exam all of all of these newspapers uh, so uh, shows you the india's gdp forecast as 7.6% it has not been uh, mentioned anywhere uh, but it took out the news from uh, every every newspaper and it shows you the result by clustering the information historical data analysis so this is where the actual testing would be done and i talked about it uh, previously the machine learning data would be used for uh, testing uh, testing natural language understanding Uh, would be used and clusters would be used to test the application area we have the natural language understanding process uh, for uh, uh, for requirement understanding and uh, clusters uh, would be used to predict or uh, look at the spaces where uh, the particular requirement uh, is the application area where the particular requirement lies and recommended technique uh, will be used for hunting the defects like uh, uh, for a particular requirement based on the past data uh, if uh, uh, in manual testing if uh, we have some defects then uh, as soon as the system gets uh, a particular requirement it would hunt for that particular uh, area of the application and try to find the bugs basically it is all hypothesis uh, which i am talking about Uh, so uh, after the implementation comes the impact so what impact would uh, have what impact it would have have when it gets implemented so i will be talking about just uh, the revenue and the employment impact of it so revenue impact uh, as per my understanding uh, the trend of uh, artificial intelligence implementation on revenue should look uh, something like this uh, initially there will be a negative revenue generation uh, for the system when it is it gets implemented this is due to the fact that uh, initially the money will be pumped into the system and uh, later on it will start fetching results for you and the system uh, and the revenue generation gradually moves towards the positive side so this is uh, this is what i think is going to happen with the revenue and uh, now coming on to the employment aspect of implementation so uh, in, uh, you can see that there is a increase in the employment uh, uh, in the initial phases of the implementation and later on this uh, there is a gradually decrease in the employment so initially for uh, implementation of the artificial intelligence what would happen as the testers or manual testers would be hired for uh, performing the manual testing and those data would be recorded in the background like uh, uh, machine uh, machine machine learning will be used to record that data and later on when the system will be fully capable of testing itself independently there will be gradually decrease in the employment and finally it it would come to zero when the testers would be required employment would uh, not be created for tester because system would be capable of testing independent independently so we can see that uh, there are positive as well as negative aspects of implementation of uh, artificial intelligence into testing uh, that was it 
Thank you. Thank you, everyone.